DeWalt's new DCS 781 Flex Volt 12 inch miter saw has proven that it is much more than just an upgrade to the old Flex Volt model. This, in fact, to me and to I think many others, has become like the top tier of what miter saws should be. We went through and proved that this thing has some of the best dust collection out there. It absolutely astonished me as I cut 300 and some cuts and barely had any sawdust on me. There was very little to even clean up. Beyond that, that was all on one nine amp hour battery. So the need for multiple batteries, not there. Power, spot on. This thing absolutely rocks. Now what we didn't test completely and show you was accuracy. So after all those cuts, after this is well used, we're gonna go back through, test all the accuracy for you. So let's get after it. In my opinion, these detents and the accuracy of those detents are very important. We're at 45 degrees now. There's gonna be some wobble in my miter stand. I apologize. We're gonna come back to the zero detent. That is exactly where it's at. Lock it down. Got my square. If I come over here, touch it up, it is absolutely perfect. It doesn't get any better than that, but let's test it with wood. So on this wood, I drew two lines with my square, one using this edge, one using this edge. The second line where I had the X is using this edge. You can see they're slightly different and this wood is not cut perfectly. So we're gonna use this second line is so we're gonna use this edge when we take it over to the digital meter. Getting all this on film might not be perfect, but we're gonna try. So we're gonna use this edge we cut along with this edge here, take our meter and bring it in. Ninety perfect, which I am very surprised. It doesn't take much to get this off. And I'm gonna try it again just to make sure. Ninety degrees. Absolutely perfect. So let's take our next detent, which should be 15 degrees, lock her down, and let's make a cut. Back over to the table, we have the X, put this up against it, let's slide her in, 75.1, let's do it one more time, 75.1, so we are one tenth of a degree off there. All right, 15 degrees, let's just go back to zero cause, let's go to the next one, which is going to be 22.5. Five. Let's again make that cut. So back on the table. We are looking for 67.5. Spot on. One more time. This is not as easy as it looks. 67.6. All right, just for fun, let's move this guy around. We're going to 
here we should be looking for 90 minus 31, 6, so 58, 4. Bingo. Spot on. 58.4. One more time. Spot on. 58.4. All right. As we did in the others, we'll go back to zero. Not that it matters. Next one is going to be 45. We're just a touch too big. So to remedy that, we're just going to come over to this 45, but we're only going to knock off this edge. That's it. We're not going to change the angle. We're not going to play any games. We're just going to knock off that edge. That's it. If we bring this in, we are really relying on this edge down here to make sure that this is right. That is something with this exact angle finder I'm not a big fan of, but it's worked so far, so let's bring it in. 45. That's where it's sitting. Let's flip it over. That's where this guy here is so hard because it wants, to, you gotta make sure that corner is perfect. If I flip it over, I get 45.1, it moved to 45.2. Make sure that's all the way in there. Pushed in, 45.1. I mean, we are dang near spot on. You are not gonna find a wall that is a perfect 45 degrees or perfect cut where you need it. You're not gonna find a wall that is 90 degrees if it has drywall on it, that is for sure. All right, we're gonna be cutting off our X here, so we're gonna move our X to that side. No issue. We're gonna come back to zero, lock her down, and trim this piece straight again. Here's where it gets complicated in my mind. And it may not be as complicated as it sounds. Come back, we got a 90, right? Question is, how about this way? Is it 90? And there's just not a lot of board here. But that looks like it's spot on. 90.1. If we take and put this angle meter up against it, right? I can move it slightly. If I come in, that lines up absolutely perfectly. I'm not sure you can see it on camera. You can feel it. So we are spot on there. Let's try a bevel. Another tough one to show on a camera. Cut is flat all the way across. No issue there. So no matter where we test it, it should be good. If we play this game, I'll let you guys look. Helps if I get it perfect there. 
that to me looks just a hair off that much. I hope you can see it. Not much. Does not look perfect according to that. It's close, but it does not look perfect. Now let's see if we can do this. Per that, that's what this should be. 46.5. Tough call. Feel a little more confident in this one. 46.1. So, per this guy, per this, we are just slightly off on our bevel. So the good news here with this saw is that that is completely adjustable. All we have to do is mess with this bolt down here and we can dial that in without issue. And I think that's great. So far, I think everything on this has been good. Now the one kicker that you always look at is will it stay there? If you get some sawdust down here, is that going to change anything? What's going to happen long term? That's something we're going to have to continue to play with this saw. But from what I'm seeing, other than maybe the miter, which I think is a little bit harder for us to definitively say is spot on, this thing came to us production quality good in my opinion. Some people might want to try to zero out that tenth of a degree, highly unlikely in my opinion, but maybe you want to try to get that 45 a little bit closer when you are beveling. Other than that, this thing rocks as far as accuracy and seems to be able to move back and forth between it and hold that accuracy without issue. Someone mentioned that within three months or so, the saw might have some blade wobble, so flex volt, this, that, and the other. I, I don't know. I get it that you have different blades. They're going to be, you know, circular, whatever. So what I want to show you, though, is on the blade that came with this, if I just touch this and turn it on slightly, you will see this line move. Not much. And some of that is the sticker that is peeling off that you are from, you know, this place here. So there's a little bit of blade movement in this, but I don't think it's the actual arbor. I believe it is more of the blade. So with the tools I have and the camera angles I'm able to sneak in, I hope that gives you enough information to make up your own mind if this is accurate enough for you and what you might be able to do to make it either more accurate or if you're just happy hunky-dory. Again, this is a one of one, so it came this way out of the box. Yours may come slightly different. I know that some, there's manufacturing issues, but from what I know and have seen out of the DeWalt miter saws, most of them come almost spot on right out of the box and that's something I really appreciate. Let me know your comments and your experiences down below. That helps out everyone else. If you have the same experience, different experience, if this is good enough for you, not good enough for you, let everyone else know they love to read those comments and make their own. As always, we appreciate your time. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a great day.